only Mars has more than one moon among the four rocky terrestrial planets. The two small bodies that orbit the red planet are both smaller than Earth's moon. Fear and Terror, the moons of Mars. The two Martian moons, Phobos and Deimos, are thought to be the asteroids captured by the red planet. On an August night in 1877, Asaph Hall was about to give up his frustrating search for a Martian moon when his wife Angelina encouraged him to keep going. The next night, he discovered Deimos, and six nights later, he discovered Phobos. They were named after the Greek mythological characters Phobos and Deimos, who accompanied their father Ares, the god of war, into battle. The Romans referred to Ares as Mars. Phobos is known for panic or fear, and Deimos is known for terror or dread. Some speculate Mars could have more moons, smaller than 50 to 100 meters in size, as well as a dust ring between Phobos and Deimos, but none have been discovered yet. Even from Mars, the moons do not appear to be moons. Deimos, the more distant moon, appears more like a star in the night sky. It resembles Venus as seen from Earth when it is full and shining brightly. Phobos has the closest orbit to its primary of any moon in the solar system, but it appears only one-third the size of Earth's full moon. Orbit and Size Phobos and Deimos resemble asteroids rather than Earth's moon. Both of them are tiny. The larger moon Phobos is only 14 miles, or 22 kilometers, across, while the smaller moon Deimos is only 8 miles, or 13 kilometers, making them among the solar system's tiniest moons. Phobos orbits Mars at a distance of only 9,377 kilometers. This results in a short duration orbit. Phobos may be seen crossing the sky in about four hours by someone standing on the planet's surface. Deimos is much smaller, measuring only 12.6 kilometers across and having a more uneven shape. Deimos's orbit takes 30.35 hours to complete an orbit around Mars, since it is much farther away from Mars at a distance of 23,460 kilometers. Phobos has a mass of 1.08 times 10 to the 16th kilograms, and Deimos has a mass of 2.0 times 10 to the 15th kilograms. Due to very low gravity, a person standing on both Martian moons would weigh 1,000 times less than what he would weigh on Earth. Characteristics and Composition Phobos and Deimos, like Earth's moon, always exhibit the same face to their planet. Both are cratered, bumpy, and coated in dust and loose debris. They are among the solar system's darkest objects. The moons appear to be formed of ice and carbon-rich rock. Astronomers believe that both of Mars's moons were previously asteroids that were captured in the distant past based on their composition, size, and shape. Both are made of a substance that resembles type 1 or 2 carbonaceous chondrites, the same material that makes up asteroids. They resemble asteroids more than moons due to their elongated shapes. Phobos has been severely cratered by millennia of meteor impacts, with three major craters dominating the surface. Stickney is the largest crater. Stickney Crater has a diameter of 10 kilometers, which is over half the average diameter of Phobos. The crater is so huge that astronomers fear the impact came dangerously close to shattering the moon. Parallel grooves and striations leading out from the crater show that the impact likely caused fractures. Like the surface of Phobos, the surface of Deimos is pockmarked and cratered from multiple impacts. The largest crater on Deimos is around 2.3 kilometers in diameter, which is one-fifth the size of the Stickney crater on Phobos. Although both moons are highly cratered, Deimos appears smoother due to partial filling of some of its craters. The Fate of Phobos 
Phobos does not appear to be in orbit around Mars for much longer. It is steadily spiraling inward as it orbits Mars faster than the planet rotates. As a result, experts believe that in the next 10 to 50 million years, Martian gravity will break Phobos into a pile of rubble, forming a partial ring around the planet. The rocks will then fall down on the surface of Mars in a dramatic series of impacts a few million years later.